Godverdorie tier. Dat is... Absolutely beautiful. Highly recommended. <laughs> With a small town. Chinchai Yepoda. So what can you say? Chinchai Yepoda is very beautiful. Mani Yepo. Chinchai. Kachigayo. Yeah. Annyeong Stayon. Chinchai Yepo. Mani Mani Yepo. Yeah. Kachigayo. Salga. Let's stop. Where? Ah, oh, this way. He's the guy. Gandao. So guys, what can you say about the place? Beautiful! <laughs> oh, it's beautiful! <laughs> so, we are here and we are being guided by the local tourists, a local person there who speaks Russian. Because <laughs> he knows the place. <laughs> Easy. We are now here in Bud Budva. Budva. Yeah, and we're gonna go for dinner. We're gonna try some local uh, food. Montenegro food. Yeah. Okay. And so relaxing. That's the best thing. Yeah. And you know what is nice? Because we were expecting some heavy rains yeah. and lows. Yeah. Thunder. But, well, it's still cloudy. It's not that sunny. But it's what's important is dry. Yeah, it's dry. You know, we don't have to bring yeah. our umbrella. I think and this those is the things. best weather. Yeah, it's not so warm. Yeah. But also not so cold, right? Exactly. And it's dry. That's what most important is. Yeah. Uh, what is important is it it's, it's dry. Not pouring. Right? Mm -hmm. That's uh it's that's so important. Pretty. It's so pretty. Ah. So <laughs> what can you say? It's good. Nice? Yeah. Nice. We're just walking uh -huh. for about the six minutes going down to the old city. Alright. There you can see we're now going to the old city of Budva. Budva. So, that's that's a common accident of bloggers. <laughs> Guys, for uh, my hundred and eleven subscribers, I hope you're watching. And keep on counting. Keep on counting. Please subscribe to my channel. Share and click the alert button. And make it viral. Yes, and share it on your Facebook, on social network. Yes. And we will give you nice travel tips when you go exactly. to this kind of places. Yes. You will know which is the best place yeah. but affordable exactly. in Europe. And, and you know, she can give you also a nice tips on how to make an Instagram -able. Uh, Picture. pictures you know just follow her on her uh, Instagram yes. amazing sweet pictures Brighton. sweet Brighton <coughs> check it out <laughs> oh my god and look at that Estonian there <laughs> look. The Estonian are cool cool the yes cold. you know with, without him hot. Oh, okay, that it's part is maybe hot maybe, boys is the better. Maybe that part we have to edit in this video. That hot part maybe um, 
not appropriate. Yeah. But, but the, you know, this guy, this guy, we should be very thankful for him because without him, we cannot communicate properly to the, uh, yeah. to the apartment he because Russian. he speaks Russian. I thought they were only speaking about vodka, vodka, vodka. <laughs> 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 but they speak Russian here. Huh? Yeah, it's a lot of Russian people. No, because it used to be a communist country before, and I think the language is somewhat similar to Russian. So that's right. Yeah. Uh, come a lot of Russian. Oh my god. He said uh, until end of August, all mm. his apartments are uh, already built up. Yeah? June and July. Yeah, they're building a lot of accommodations. You can see there. View, so many accommodations, they're still building. We're traveling with the also fellow tourists. He's trying to help us find Norway from the top going down to the <coughs> city. You see, oh, what we're passing through. This is like a hidden uh, shortcuts, I can say. So you can go. Otherwise, you have to uh, follow the path of the, the cars, which is really a long way, way to walk. And some, some are also closer, private, private stair, uh, pathways. Nakakapagtaka rito sa Montenegro. Dito pa mismo sa Budfa. May mga natagpuan tayo mga Pilipino. Uh, Pilipino po kayo? I'm not. And you are from? Colombia. Car <laughs> Parang hindi naman. <laughs> Excuse me, kabayan. Pilipino po ba kayo? Yes po, kababala nung barko namin doon sa Budvang. <laughs> <laughs> Chambermaid po ako actually doon sa bapur ng Royal Caribbean. Ah. Kadadaong lang namin dyan sa Budvang. Ah, bakit po ba meron? Ilang araw kayo dito? Dalawang araw kami nihintay ko po yung plane papuntang Italy. Uh -oh. Kasi... So, saan po ba kayo sa taas natin sa Pilipinas? Sa Talon. <laughs> Natal. Pantalon, Quezon City. Sab sabi, uh, sabi niya ho sa akin, taga-Columbia ho siya. Yes, ah. I am. <laughs> Parang hindi naman. Parang hindi po ko panipaniwala ang sinasabi po ng Parang Pilipinas. Para pong, para pong taga-Malab, <laughs> na, na botas. <laughs> na botas po kayo. Botas na botas. <laughs> botas na botas. <laughs> botas na botas. Overused. Here you can see the whole city of, uh, of Budva. This is really beautiful, huh? Marami mga tao ito, papasok ito sa Old Town. Parang siyang, uh, alam mo, nak nakapunta kami before we went to uh, to the Brovnik in Croatia. There's some similarity, you know, this Old Town, nice place, cheap food, I can say, compared to... Uh, when you buy some stuff in West Europe, but here it's like it's cheap. They also ang gamit din nilang pera dito. They also use the euros here in Montenegro. That place. We are now in Petrovac, Petrovac. Petrovac, which is also still part of the Budva region area. area. <laughs> uh, you can see the coastline over there. We're here find, looking for, uh, we're uh, for breakfast. breakfast. So that's what we're going to do. We're looking for the place where we can grab something to eat, exactly. breakfast, coffee, hot drink. Exactly. Uh, I think you do. But it's I think it's not still the tourist time because there's not much tourists. It's not a peak time, I think. Peak time. There's a small group, mostly yeah. families. Correct. Uh, so then, yes. how do you find your breakfast? What's breakfast you have? Yes. Bacon, bacon and egg. Bacon and egg. And I have some toast. Lekker. It's very good. Lekker? Yeah. Can I have like some? Tomatoes. What is that? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Mm. Lovely, right? Jack, guten Appetit.
few few let's say like a villages different name example this is Perast, this is Mori there but all all this way below to Gotor. Open sea is this way after after the island we will go this way. That's the open sea, right yeah. over there. Open sea and, and Tivat is left, right is here. So I will show you. So here we have two islands. First this one here is a, a Orthodox church and name is Saint George. Saint George. Yes, this is a, a before he uses the old cemetery. Because of this is closed already more than around seven eight years they closed for tourists. Yeah. Only uh, July and August some people living there uh, like like a private but is a church. Oh this one is the church. Yeah. Orthodox, Orthodox, Orthodox church. church. And the island is natural. This is natural island after they built the church. Here also history say that man-made island. Every man year island. it's a man-made island. And every year, 22nd of July, we give celebration people from this area going with the boat and throw the stones. Yes, like small stones, this is like a holiday. Unang panahon daw, lahat daw ng mga ito daw ay wala tong, tong, tong ay, parang small island na to. So lahat ng mga taong dumadaan dito sa bay na to, lahat ng mga boat nag, nagbabagsak dito ng mga bato hanggang mapuo tong island na to. So, This is a uh, kind of uh, opening uh, island pag pumasok ang, uh, ang mga boat from the open sea all the way to the, to the Bay of Kotor. Yes, the Bay of Kotor. So here you can see the, the, the rock, the Our Lady of the Rock. This is what it's called. We're going to stop here for about 20 minutes and then uh, we, look, uh, we travel around further. <laughs> so guys, we are now in the island of Ro the Rock. Our Lady of the Rock. So beautiful. This is a Catholic church. You can see from here. It's a beautiful place. Right over there. It's another, it's a Orthodox church on that island. It's not open for tourists. So, uh, well, this one is a Catholic church. Uh, in, in Yugoslavia, we use a submarine base. We have three here. In mm -hmm. Montenegro, we have three like this. And total in all Yugoslavia, 20. 20? 20, yes. Submarine base. So, this is where they hide the submarine. Oh, they park the submarines, you know. During the S communist country. This way, this is, uh, this is before, before. Now, before. Now, before. So this is the parking space for the summer. It's not an, it's not a natural cave, but a man-made cave to put all of their submarines before. And it used to be a military base, and now it's, it's abandoned. It's no longer being used. Dummy. It's really nice. Nice place. See ya. One specific laws in the. You can see that this submarine base can be closed. And now it's not used anymore. So where they put where they put now the sub the submarines? You have, you have few few we send in, in Serbia in museum, but few you will find down in this town Tivat. If you if you will go there, okay. Or in Porto Montenegro, there is two outside in like a museum. Oh, all right. One is uh, 25 meter, other one is around. 40 like Interesting. So guys, we know something already now. This is Herzegov. It's named Herzegov. Yeah. And after this town going Croatia. So oh this, yes. This is the border with Croatia. I will show you down. This is what you see? Yeah. This belongs to Croatia. That belongs to Croatia. Croatia. And the border between Montenegro and Croatia is Around where is this yacht there? Yeah. So this is the road where is the border between Montenegro and yeah. Croatia. Here we have the island. Uh, it's a name Mamula. It's Mamula. Yes. In first and second world war, uses a small prison for the people who live here in this area. Okay, guys, we just been to the uh, Blue Cave inside. Well, the water is a bit. Uh, the waves are pretty uh, strong, so. Uh, we decided not to swim inside the blue cave, but it was uh, it was beautiful. It's just like uh, it's in the coast of uh, the Adriatic Sea. 
see the rocks over there. That is a cave. We are in a, we have we are in another town called Berast. It's a uh, coastal town here in Montenegro, close to Kotor. It's a small town village. Here you can see they have a tower clock on top of me. See it? Such such place. Let's go guys. So we finally reach the, uh, the church. There you go. It was not so it was easy. It was easy. How has it been? It, it, it is the best way of forever. If you never was climb club, then come to Go to the fortress and try to climb. Make sure to bring a bottle of water and better not on the midday because especially in summer because it's too warm. <laughs> oh, la, la. This is it. We finally made it here in the yeah. end of the fortress. Amazing view. Yeah, beautiful view. There you go here. This is uh, Macedonia, Kotor, Macedonia. How far I got there? Sulit. Sulit, so bang init there. Dapat pagagat dito yung hapon na para wala nang araw. Ah, Macedonia, Kotor. 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 Climb kaso pag masoblang init, dali ka ma-exos. Oh. Wala na pagbagong kain ka, bigat. <laughs> Pero maganda. This is beautiful.
say about the place? It's very good. Yeah? It's on the top of the mountain. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? We're in a national park called Thoughts. This is really nice. here top of the mountains it's a Catulia mausoleum of one of uh, the national hero of Montenegro <laughs> Where are we going? National Park. National Park. National Park. Such a climb, a lot of stairs going up. Okay, pretty chill already here, kind of cold. It's really nice. Amazing. So beautiful. Panoramic view of Montenegro. Both see the water and the mountains. I believe, I don't know, maybe that is a, a town of Pecorica, but it's really beautiful. Picturistic. Over there, you can see from that side. It's really nice. Uh, bishop. Bishop. Drugi Petrovi Pet Petro Bishop. Da. And uh, okay. philosopher, poet, Vladika of Montenegro. So he's the hero da. of Montenegro. Da. Very nice. <laughs> guys we are in dormitory uh, we this is uh, in the middle of dormitory there's a cafe a bar where you can order your cocktails and coffee and have a fantastic stop over and an overview of the mountains it's very nice here you can go here it's in Novidondo it's a very very good place to, to, to have a stop and have coffee and some drinks and you enjoy the fantastic view over there this you should go it's such an amazing place. Maybe you can ask... Uh, Hi sir! What is your name? Maybe Boyer. you can say something. If you are in dormitor, you should, you should look for this guy. He will serve you very nice drinks. <laughs> and you have a fantastic view of the area, right? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Please see him, alright? Bye! Bye! This is Tara Bridge. It's one of the famous stop here. Where we are driving from Kotor, we're going to Serbia. So we pass by uh, Domitor, and now we are passing by Tara Bridge along the Tara Canyons. We're driving to Serbia. I think we will arrive in our accommodations in Knik. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's the word, Knik. Serbia around 9 p.m. So we might take our dinner somewhere along the way. 
But please remember this when you're traveling to Montenegro. One hour. When you stay here overnight, make sure that you have to pay the tourist tax or your accommodations pay the tourist tax for one euro per person per night. And then you have this piece of paper. Because when you cross the borders of other countries, Montenegro uh, border control will ask for the tourist tax. And it's most likely if you don't have that tourist tax, you might end up paying 200 euros penalty. Good, so see you in Serbia.